Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to a brand new series that I'm starting up, Nether. Uh, if you guys are very familiar with the DayZ franchise or the WarZ game, this is very, very, very similar to the both of them, except this one here is, uh, I guess it's kind of got its own creepy and crawlies that run in the night, and it's more of like these things called nethers. They're almost like an alien-type creature that will uh, are very, very threatening, very dangerous, probably just as dangerous as players. Whereas in Daisy, you can get thumped by 30 zombies, <laughs> you know, 15, 20 different hits and, and be okay. In War Z, though, zombies would hit you five or six times and you're pretty much dead. Um, in this game here, there's several different nethers that can attack you. Um, there's uh, screamers, there's these different guys that shoot spikes out of their chest, there's these little guys that hit really hard. There's, you'll see in the game, um, <clears throat> but just like any other game out there, it is very heavy PvP based, which means the second you see somebody, it's pretty much an all-out war, so don't even bother trying to get friendly with anybody. Um, the, the character creator, this is still in beta, just so you guys know, this is in beta, so there's really not a whole lot of options as far as your characters go. Um, but you do have a cool talent point system. So as you level up, you can choose to throw points into melee, your stealth, your strength, survival, and then you break into all these other categories here, which I think is uh, pretty cool. So let's jump right into some nether. And just like that, you start with your typical kitchen knife. This is what your inventory looks like here. You've got range, side arms, right arm, left arm, head, and a backpack full of items here. And what I love about this map is it tells you right where you are, and it actually has street names. You can actually zoom in on it so you know where you are at any given time. And what's really cool about it is they've got this one section of the map so far, which tells me that they are going to open this up to a lot. I mean, look at these sections of maps that I can only assume they're going to open up to patches later down the road. I mean, look at this. This is going to be amazing if they actually open up all of this part of the map. I mean, that's... Because that was one of the issues with, uh, with Daisy, is you had to go find a map, you had to go find a compass, you had to go find all this just to kind of figure out where you were, unless you guys were professionals at, you know, learning all the different signs and figuring out where you were. This game here, though, does have that very creepy, scary factor to it, though, where um, if you do see nethers, you don't want to engage them. At all costs for several reasons. One, they are very lethal. Look at that guy up there. I don't know if you guys can see him from here. That up there is called a watcher. He's got like this red laser, like red thing that he looks around. If he sees you, yeah, that's that's all bad. Screechers or screamers, whatever you want to call them. Actually, when you engage them, they start to scream and will aggro uh, close by nethers. And that's all bad news, too. In the bottom right corner, you can see my little health bar down there. I've got a thousand health. Um, some of these guys do take 100 to 250 health. Um, the little sprint meter, obviously the little person running is my sprint meter. And the water bottle is my food and water. As of right now, it's kind of combined just into the one. But the reason I changed directions is because there was another very close, just like there is one right there. So I'm trying to avoid these guys at all costs, if I can. Um, another thing, too, uh, if you guys see these large plumes of smoke, there's two. There's a couple of different things that that usually means. Well, for one, that means that there's a downed helicopter, which means there's a very good chance of loot being nearby. And there's another right there, actually. But the graphics in this game, I think, are phenomenal. I mean, the fire, the sound, just the overall creepiness of this game, the eeriness factor, and the danger factor of knowing that there are up to 64 people per server right now that you've got to worry about and contend with along with these nether creatures here. This guy here, can't tell what he is other than the fact that... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go the other way. But I don't want to contend with those guys right now. All I've got is a, a kitchen knife. Not that I can't defend myself with it. It just doesn't... It's just not the best right now to, uh, to fight nethers or players with. We need to get ourselves, just like every other game that you guys have played, whether it's War Z or AKA Infestation or Daisy, you need to get your hands on your typical items like a weapon. 
some sort of a melee we good melee weapon and a good uh, a good firearm. There are crouch and there is a prone feature in this as well. There is no third person, which is nice, so it's all just a first person game here. Looks like we're coming up on a riverside outpost here. There are safe zones, just so you guys know. So if you guys want to come into a safe zone, you can deposit your items into a GI, which is short for a global inventory. So you guys can deposit items in there if you want to. That way you can go out and loot things and deposit it in there and not have to worry about possibly losing them. And the safe zone can also uh, come under attack. The nethers will attack the safe zone and bring the generators offline, which means it will not be safe anymore. Which means you guys have X amount of time to try and get those, uh, uh, like... I don't even know what they're called. They're almost like little radar looking things, but they're like little fence guards that you've got to get back up. I think you have an hour to get them back up again. And if you don't get them back up, the safe zone is down for another hour, which means that you can fire your weapon and nethers can go inside and players can player kill you inside there. So you've got to be very, very careful with that. I don't know what's in here. I really don't know the spawn locations just yet. Oh, here's an ambulance here. But one of the key things you want to look for is uh, vehicles like this. You want to look for campsites. You can also see where there's going to be spots for potential loot once they get all the, the, the looting and the spawns and stuff all situated. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything in here as of right now. <clears throat> but here's a way out, so let's just get out of here and let's keep looking around here. We are right on the edge of the, uh, the map here. So like I was saying, some of the key things you want to look for in this map are the large uh, plumes of smoke that you'll see off in the distance. Like there's one right over there you guys can see. And then there's larger ones as well that generally lead to campsites. Like almost every building, I'd have to say probably 95% of buildings in this game are enterable. And eventually we'll have loot in them. As of right now, I don't think a lot of these vehicles will spawn loot. I think it's generally in specific locations as of now. But I know that this game here it's pretty much picking up where Daisy and Warzy. Whoa. Alright, everybody. I do apologize for the cut there. Unfortunately, with beta games, there is bugs. Um, this game here is notorious for crashing right now. It's not a big deal. Honestly, it doesn't make me too upset. A sewing kit, huh? It doesn't make me too upset because with how easy this game is to get right back into, literally, if the game crashes, I'm right back in it within 10 seconds. That's how quick the game loads and get, and you know, you pick a server, you click, you join, you choose your person, and you're right back in. There's no load times like in any of the other games, like in uh, DayZ or War Z. Like War Z, for example, you have 15 minute timers on your characters if you die. So if all of your people die, you're you can't play the game anymore. <laughs> you just gotta sit and stare at the screen for 15 minutes and wait for a character to respawn. Or in DayZ, for example, if you die, you have to re-log back to the server and all that other stuff. It, it is very time consuming. That's one thing I do like about this game, that if you do die, you easily get right back into the action again. Now, if you guys look up there at the top of that top, you can get on these buildings. I mean, look at that. That's that smoke plume up there. That means there's a campsite up there. Probably has some pretty good loot to it. So another thing you guys got to keep in mind, too, that I'm sure you guys are probably all aware of, and it's just kind of common sense, is uh, everybody else can see these smoke plumes as well. So a couple of things could happen. One, it could already be looted because somebody else has already been there. Two, you could run into other players there having the exact same agenda as you. Or three, you can show up, get the loot, and walk away with not a scratch. That water kind of scared me. 
and those nethers in the background are kind of creepy sounding too. I just love this game though. The water, the grass, the physics of it. This game by far has won me over so far as far as graphics and stuff goes. Gameplay by far hold E to read. What was that? I saw a hold E to read somewhere. Was this some sort of combat arena? Oh. You can see that's another thing. You can actually examine things and looks like somebody's already been looting this though. This looks like a prime spot for loot. Looks like somebody already beat us to the punch on this campsite. Oh, that scared the freaking heck out of me. Me tripping on that water. Or on that rock in the water, I should say. Well, unfortunately, we're not really pumping into a whole lot of loot here. This is definitely a very good game that you'll want to play with friends, though. You guys want to get a couple of friends in here to, to grab some loot and watch each other's backs. Where was that one we were heading to? Or was this it here? Nope, there it is. It's on that building behind us. Right here, actually. I think I hear another somewhere. Can't quite tell where, though. Oh, man. Ugh. That's where I want to get up to, is up there. Oh, man, I guess we can't get to right there. There's got to be another way up to that platform. Yeah, that's kind of weird. And of course, uh, when I start recording is when I don't find anything. I played this game for a little bit prior to recording and found a couple of 9mm and some other stuff until I got killed by a hunter, which is one of the nethers. Oh, here we go, right here. Got a couple of staircases to get up here. Hopefully nobody with a sniper rifle picks me off from this range. Oh, crap. I thought I was falling to my death. I mean, just look at this city. You can see forever here. That's what's really cool about this. If you get yourself a sniper rifle or something like that, man, you can see and pick people off from a long ways away. Hopefully coming all the way up here is uh, going to be worth our time. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like heights. I'm not seeing anything up here as of yet. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Nothing up here so far. Just a good view. That's about it. Oh, oh, there we go. I jumped over it. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Nothing up here.
Well, we're just off of, uh, looks like Maple Street here, so I guess we'll have to come back down this side. I see, uh, some nethers down there. I'm not seeing any activity on the ground. I think we should head that way. To that smoke plume over there and see what's over there. In hopes that we can find... Oh, gosh. I about just dove off the edge. Because if we can find ourselves a nice little handgun with a couple of rounds in it, at least we'll have a sporting chance against somebody with a gun. Because as of right now, there's been a lot of people that have been playing this since... Whoa. Since the, uh, the game released to open beta. So a lot of people have got the spawn locations down already. They kind of roughly already know where everything's at. I swear I heard footsteps over there. I guess I'm just hearing things. Okay, we're gonna just come over here to our original plan destination and see if there's any loot over here. If you guys have not seen the trailer to this game, you guys really need to watch it. It's an actual real life like trailer, it's not a video game trailer. It's pretty good, I like it a lot. You see that black smoke right there? That's what you call watching out for. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those nethers. I'm hoping we come across something here soon. Nothing. Well, at least we got ourselves a shotgun with five rounds in it so far. It's better than nothing. At least we got some defense here. Let's go check this gas station here and see if there's anything here. Nothing yet. Let's go check this building. Nothing here either. So I'm kind of just checking out the rooftops of these buildings to see if there's anything up there, especially people. You'll get a lot of guys that find these uh, high-powered sniper rifles in this game and just post up on rooftops. And they'll get you. I really don't want to go walking out in the open like I was. We're gonna kind of hide against these walls here. I don't like to sprint too much either. You do have a sprint button, which is shift, and you have a sprint meter. I just don't like it to use it too much because nethers can hear you from a very, very long ways away and they'll come get you. Looks like we're coming up on the safe zone. Looks like they just secured it too, which means the nethers were attacking it. Uh, 
<laughs> Sorry about that. We had to cut it again. As soon as I walked, or as soon as I stepped foot into that safe zone, it uh, crashed on me again. So, it looks like it put us back just outside of the safe zone. So, let's see if, uh... Maybe we missed anything over here anyway. Like I said, you know, the game has got a lot of potential. You can't dog a game in beta for crashes and bugs. That's part of beta. You're here to stress test it. You're here to, to play the game, to give the, the company feedback on it. Positive feedback. I was reading some uh, forum posts earlier, and these people are so brutal to these guys about game crashes and everything else. And what was really kind of shocking is I was reading some posts of people that I know, which was kind of, you know, just their attitude in treating the, the developers of this game was really poor. And it was kind of a shock to see them treat people that way, but you know what? I guess it is what it is. Me, personally, it like I said, it doesn't bother me. It takes 10 seconds out of my day to restart the game and, and try it again and get back into it. So it does not bother me when the game crashes. Unfortunately for you guys, you guys just have to see the cuts. So that's what kind of sucks for you guys. So I hope you guys don't mind the cuts too much of me just kind of having to cut it, because there's really not a whole lot I can do when the game crashes. Well, that alarm is going off at the safe zone again, so I don't know if that means... If it's still under attack or what? Whoa! Whoa! Somebody's taking shots off at me. Oh, they're defending it. Four of six devices have been repaired. Time left. We have 40 minutes left. Now, let me explain something to you guys really quick here. Four of six devices have been repaired, but the problem is you'll get a lot of bandits that just kind of hang out and will snipe you as you're trying to repair it. Say, so repair the anti-nether devices to secure the safe zone. Two devices remaining. So you've got to be very careful when securing these devices because people will kill you just for your loot, even though you're trying to help the server out. Oh, one repair. That means there's somebody going around fixing them. What the heck was that? Oh, there's a player right there. We're going to hang out right here for just a second. And see if he comes this way. He's fighting some nethers over there. This might backfire on me, but we'll see. Okay, that guy's gone. Oh, there's another nether there, though. I don't want to get tangled up with the nether right now. So I just killed that guy. That shotgun was freaking powerful. Did you get- he must have been hurt, because I one-shotted him. I don't think I can get to his loot, though. I might be able to get up there to it. Let's go see. Yep, there's his loot right there.
I don't know where his weapon went though. Oh my goodness, look at all these guys. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, time to go. That guy was trying to run up on me too. Did you guys see that? <laughs> well, at least I killed him for trying to run up on me like that. Bleach? Whoa. I think that's a player. Okay, safe zone activated just as he got up here. I was about to shank him too. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got. <clears throat> so we've now got two backpacks. We've got a sewing kit, bandages, two small backpacks, a thing of pills, another knife, some food. Not too bad. I just don't know where that guy's weapon went. The, guy, the first guy that I killed, he had like, it looked like a sniper rifle in his hand. Is that it right there? I don't know if that's gonna hurt me or, oh. Yep, there's his handgun. Oh, there's his sniper rifle. It fell off, and he had an ax. Man, this guy had some good stuff. Oh boy. Yeah, that guy died in a very bad spot. I got myself a sniper rifle now. Got myself a sidearm. And it sounds like he's mad. All right, let's take a look here. We got to figure out where the stuff goes now. Because apparently, I guess here you can add it to a global inventory. We just gotta figure out where to deposit it into the global inventory. Maybe, well, it looks like you got something up here and then you got a place like right over there somewhere. So I guess what I'll figure out from here, guys, is where to deposit the stuff into the global inventory. And in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed another video as this guy looks like he's very upset. I wonder if it was him that I killed or maybe one of his buddies, I don't know. But unfortunately, you're gonna run into players like that. It's just par for the course. But I hope you guys enjoyed a very, very first episode of Nether and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.